Hey everybody, it's Greek Gamer or Nicholas here coming at you with a brand new video and today I want to talk about the stupidity that is the iPhone or sorry the Apple event Where do I start? Okay, first off they announced the iPad Pro Eight hundred you're gonna pay eight hundred dollars for a tablet and on top of that, it's got a 13-inch screen. It's not like a 12.8, 12.9, but it's nearly 13 inches screen. You don't need that much screen. And for that price, you can literally buy a decent laptop or even a cheap PC for that much money. I'd just like to note really quickly that there's also... No, 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 you know what? I'm going to save it for later. Okay, so the iPhone 6S and the 6S Plus, or sorry, the Plus 6S or whatever it's called. I wouldn't be surprised if it bends, honestly. To, to my knowledge, uh, what I saw from the iPhone 6S, it looks exactly like the 6. They're probably talking about some new iOS. I heard that there were some iOS 9 hints or something along those lines that had to do with it. But honestly, I feel like this is just Apple's effort to stay relevant. What I mean by that is that the majority of people have found out by now that iPhone does not have the newest tech or the greatest phones and devices. They're extremely overpriced and you're just paying for the name. It's like buying a Bugatti. You're not buying it because it's a car, you're buying it for the name. If you have enough money to buy something like that, you're going to buy it for the name, just so you can brag. So, I feel like the same way is about the iPhone. I, I think the iPhone is going to be something like $600, $700 like it usually is, which is again, way too overpriced considering you could buy a, a Galaxy S6 Edge or any other phone that just came out. There's even the OnePlus. Or the one plus one or it, I think it's just the one plus it's an invite only phone at the moment But it's gonna hit the shelf soon and it's got like the best specs of any phone and it's way cheaper than the iPhone on top of that uh, I just want to talk about the Security Apple man. TV Or the ITV or the whatever it's called it, There the, now this I'm okay with they're adding game support to the Apple TV to make it more user-friendly. They're also adding a, uh, a touchscreen remote. The touchscreen remote, I don't really like. I feel like that's just going to cause problems. Like, a touchscreen remote is just another screen that's going to break at some point. And before we continue uh, with the whole Apple talk, can I just say something? Chargers. Enough said. I don't know about you guys, but I used to be an iPhone person. I don't know how many chargers we went through. Literally, you pay more for iPhone chargers than you do your bill. Anyways... So the Apple TV is just, um, you know, it's making good progression. You know, it's not extremely overpriced. But here's where it gets hilarious. You guys better sit down for this one. Sold separately is the iPen. A $100 stylus for your $800 iPad Pro. I think Apple has genuinely lost their mind. You're gonna slap your label on a pencil and mark it up to a hundred dollars that's how you know they're using their name to their advantage it like beats is one thing because beats honestly they're not that bad quality you're buying them for the name but they actually aren't that bad qual quality shoe or shoe wow headphone i apologize but you know as i digress it's a pencil you're gonna mark up a pencil like almost a hundred dollars because pencils are cheap you're gonna mark up any a given pencil or stylus by a hundred dollars just because it's an Apple product? That's just ridiculous. That like, that's downright ridiculous. And apparently you need it to do some functions on the iPad. So they're expecting you to drop a hundred dollars on a stylus, even if you already dropped eight hundred dollars on a tablet. And on top of this, there was news today that Samsung is coming out with an eighteen-inch tablet. Who needs that much screen? Buy a TV! Seriously, folks, get with the times! It's not that hard to realize that things need to start getting smaller, not bigger. Like, I have big hands, I like big phones and stuff, but like, 18 inches is too much screen! I'm recording right now, and I'm looking at my TV, it's about 20 inches! I can't imagine holding this thing in my hand! Come on! 13 inches is too big. That's how big my laptop screen is. Like, they're just going too far. I feel like if phones are going to get bigger, that's one thing. But increase the battery life and stuff. And it, update your charges more than you update your phones, please. That's just my thoughts on the subject. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to slap a like. For more rants from me in the future, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.